change up here. All right. So when we when we when we look at where we're at now, where we once was, and where we're looking to go, we got to see that you know what. In every lesson, there's a blessing. So I know that we're in COVID times. I made I know some of us are younger, but I once was a teenager as well. All right. When I was a teenager, it was a little bit different for me. But like I was telling. You know, some good friends of mine earlier, this environment we in, I love this environment. You know why? Because when I was a teenager, I was in a Poconos. I was in juvenile boot camp, all right? But I was not uh, pressured or anything of that nature while I was there. I wasn't treated wrongly. I was given nice things. I had people come and speak to me, teach me, empower, encourage, all right? What you all have today, and most of us, took time to say, you know what, let me walk away. And some of us took some time, take notes, and they, and, they, and they decided to implement that information. And I was somebody to sit there and look at someone who played professional ball. I was somebody that looked at a professional artist, but it didn't click then and there. And I'm not saying that information is gonna hit you just now, but it may hit you later like, wow, man, I, I wanna sit and actually have a conversation with this gentleman. Like I really wanna, you know, I really want to. Because we gotta look at it, you get one life to live. If you, one life to live, but if you live it once, you live it right, once is enough. So by making out of Philadelphia, I had to make some changes and I had to separate. And I want you all to take this down, all right? Let's take some notes, please. Let's take some notes. In order to elevate, we must separate, all right? We must separate. It may not be overnight. It may come with time. I know some things we may feel like, oh, you know, I'm tired. But at the same time, I command you all. Because you all are present. You all are present. You all decided to show up. But now it's time to really show up. So later on in life, we can show out. And what I mean by showing out, I mean taking time to say, you know what? Whatever that idea you may have. Because I wanted to, I wanted to do some. Another dream of mine was playing pro football. All right? Was playing pro football. But as I got a little bit older as a teenager, that all changed for me. That all changed for me, and I had to realize what was important, what was going on in my city. I had to realize and see that, man, there's much more in store for me. The teenagers, our youth, need something more. They need guidance. The young men and women, no matter the race, no matter where you come from, we all need some guidance. So how can I give back? So I say, you know what? I'm going I'm to go ahead and do this. So I worked. After getting in trouble consistently, I worked and I hustled, but I saved and managed my money. No one never instilled that in me. I saved, and that was a way of me making it out. Here's a kid that lost several people when he was young. Lost himself in the process. But what I never did was lose my faith. I never lost my faith. I went through those trials and tribulations, and later in life, I had to trump. But here to say, y'all, I sat there and went miles away because somebody took me out there to see something. Some of you all may not even been in this environment before. You may live in the area, but you may not been exactly up in the mountains. When someone take you to a place that you never see before, you take the time out to appreciate and cherish that. Because you never know the next time you will go back to that particular place and inspire those lives around you. You all have something inside you. You're in school. You're, 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 you're educated, you're guided by good people, all right? You may not have it all. I don't have it all. I don't know all the answers. I would never know all the answers, all right? Or so like that. But at the same time, I've learned to listen. I've learned to learn and implement, no matter the environment. So I didn't get here overnight. I had the right people in my life, but I had to take what was distracting me and pull myself closer to the attraction. So I want you all to take this down too. We want to take the time out to pull ourselves away from the distraction, the people, the toxic environment, all the things that's in your mind that's telling you that you cannot do it. And pull yourself to the attraction. Good energy. May not be perfect, but good energy. People that want to see you succeed. People that want to see you win and prosper in life. All right? Because, like I say, I never gave up. But when we talk about being resilient in times of uncertainty, Man, I just smile when I think about it. I smile when I think about it because you got to think about the challenge, right? What's this called? Te team camp challenge, right? Right. The challenge is what? Let's be committed. Let's be committed. 
right? So what are you committing yourself to on a daily basis? Inside the camp, outside the camp, all right? Because it's like I say, it's bigger than me. It's about we as a community. Taking the separation out from what distracts you and pull yourself closer to a community that attracts you. That's only going to help inspire and push you in the right direction. Commitment, one. All right. Even in times of uncertainty, you sitting there, you taking notes, right? You sitting there, you going to class, even if you may not get that grade you wanted, you still tried your hardest because what you do, you study, right? Staying committed, whether you're in sports, staying committed, staying focused, staying of course, right? All go with commitment. All right. Consistency. See, I'm not a speaker. I'm a servant leader. I'm humble about that. I don't give myself these certain titles. My thing is, I love and I enjoy the work I do, and it wasn't overnight. But when you stay consistent in the work that you do, it becomes a passion. That passion later becomes a purpose. That purpose later becomes your profession. All right? And now it's allowing you to prevail during these times of uncertainty because you decided to stay consistent when no one else did. You decided to show up to camp. You decided to take some time to say, you know what, let me run five miles because this is what I do on a daily basis. You decided to say, you know what, this particular project that I'm working on, let me go ahead and continue to work on it. All right? Let me ask you, what's something you're passionate about? Yeah. Yes. What's your name? McKenna. Yeah, this is where you come to engaging. Okay, McKenna, nice to meet you. What's something you're passionate about? Um, school. School. Okay. What about school particularly? Um, furthering my education. Okay. And what? Chemistry. Okay. Why chemistry? Um, it just has a big field and it has the jobs that I want to go into. You see? And what is that? Forensics. Okay. Look at that. And that's a very interesting field. I love that. I love that. So you see, McKenzie says, McKenna says she likes chemistry. She likes for forensics. Now someone else may have some. How about you, man? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. Nice to meet you, man. All right. What are you passionate about? Sports. Sports. What about sports? Uh, like staying active and uh, having a good time. Okay. What particular sport? Football, track? Football. football. Okay. Awesome. I love that. So you know with football, because I play football as well, and I'm going to share a little story for you, man, as well. I had someone very close in my life who had dreams of going to play professional football. He could have, all right? He could have, but at the same time, he stayed focused until what point where he started to put himself around the wrong environment. And this goes for all of us, not just Luke, all right? When you put yourself in that wrong environment, it can put you down. And that's what happened to me, and that's what happened to this special person in my life as well. He had professional dreams of playing, playing football. But when you decide to say, you know what, let me get away from this. And you got to go through the mud. You got to go through the process. It's going to happen. But when you say, you know what, let me put myself in this environment because your environment is everything. And something I'm going to share with you all, you are the sum of the five people you surround yourself around. All right. You are the sum of the five people. So this person wasn't able to achieve that particular dream. But what he did was open him a successful business like landscaping. So sometimes those things that we may have in mind may not be it. But there's something greater in store as long as you stay, of course, when we talk about being consistent. So to Luke and McKenna, I want you all to stay committed to what you have. Stay consistent to what you have. All right. Appreciate where you are while you pursue the life that you desire. All right. I want you all to do that consistently, no matter what. We talked about what? Committed. Being consistent. All right. Being consistent. And what I want you all to do as well, be creative. I'm different. I'm very different. We're different in our own way. All right. Raise up your hands. How many of us are different in here? How many of us are different? Be proud of it. Be different. There's nothing wrong with that because guess what? That shows a lot of uniqueness in you. Because look at the times that we're in right now. So many people are following a trend versus being a trend. Right? So many people are following the trend versus being that trend in a positive way and allowing people to see your leadership and you sit there and you lead from the back versus letting them go astray versus leading in the line because you want to see them win and succeed. All right. So we talked about that as far as seeing and believing and achieving, but it won't be overnight. Seeing what you want, seeing who you who you who you like to become. All right. 
like I say, and I want to touch on this as well. This is something as well. When we talk about challenge, do not neglect the challenge, but accept the challenge. Accept the challenge. Because life would never get easy, but it will become better as you become better. You decided not to be bitter, but you decided to be better. You decided to guide, and you decided to also be teachable. You decided to learn and understand assignment. You knew that it won't be easy. You knew the trials you was going through was only going to allow you to trump during these times of uncertainty. But you say, you know what? Let me continue to keep pushing forward. Let me continue to keep prospering because I know nothing was never given. And if it was, everyone would do it. Life would never be easy. If it was, everyone would do it. So we got to do is take the time in to hone in where we want to be. Now, you all are teens. You're growing up. All right. So you have to look at it and see where you are now and the next four or five months, where are you looking to be? You have to put yourself through that challenge. See me, when I was young, I didn't have that many, I didn't have many events unless I was in an environment as far as boot camp or so. But I, I didn't go to a particular, I wasn't part of the camp, y'all. It was around the neighborhoods, but I wasn't around that. I can't say I wish I was because I'm glad and I'm proud that I went through what I went through. Because we all have our story. What I want you to do is see the people around you and look and say, you know what? These are the people I'm going to help make better. These are the people I'm grinding and learning with on a daily basis. These are the people I'm in the sun with. Learning, working, growing, understanding, and soon earning. If How many of us are working in here? <laughs> okay. You're working. Where are you working at? Car wash. Car wash. That's where it starts. How about you? Uh, I know people's lawns that got cut down. I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's give a round of applause for them two right there, y'all. Come on. Come on. Let's bring some energy, y'all. Come on. Absolutely. I love that. You know what? Because they saying, you know what? I don't want anything given. And for those that's not working, no worries. All right? Because we're all meant here to create. But sometimes you start an environment and learn at a car wash. Sometimes you start an environment to learn at a lawn, you know, where people are lawn and, and everything of that nature. I did that myself. My cousin had a lawn care company and, you know, and I was grateful for that opportunity. But I didn't become more grateful until I got older. And I surprised him with a message and I surprised him with a gift. So I want y'all to realize and understand and know that you was also given this gift. As you pursue your dreams, I want you to chase the dream and not the cream. Okay, now that may go over some people here, and that's all right. Okay, what I mean by that, the dream will last when you go. All right, the cream doesn't go with it, it doesn't. All right, I want you to chase the dream because a dream is someone, something that no one can ever take from you, it can never be taken from you. All right, because you've learned and you've listened and you understood that although times may be tough. Times may be challenging. Times may, you know, these, this pandemic is something. Look at the young people that's just losing their lives. It don't matter what environment you are in right now. There's just an incident right then in Pennsylvania, um, out there in the Philly, out there by um, Penn's Landing. That was an incident that happened in Ohio. That was an incident that happened in Buffalo, New York, which is nearby here. And, and, and it's like, when you think about that, it's like, man, we got to li literally take some time and really appreciate life. We got to cherish the moment. Seize the moment. Never take anything for granted, guys. Because when I was young, I took so much for granted. I didn't know what I had until I didn't have it anymore. I've lost a lot. I've lost my freedom. I've lost friendships. You know, and I had to find myself through the process. But what, I, what I've learned and understood is that good people like Andrew... Good people like this, you know, another person. This good people like these, these people. These are people that are not made overnight. They come across your journey. And these are people that start to see something in you more than you may see in yourself. Because you may say, man, it's Friday. I want to be at Hershey Park riding roller coasters and everything. Well, I want to be here. Wherever you may enjoy doing, being at, be at, being at the beach with your family. But you say, you know what? I'm going to show up to camp when nobody else do. I'm going to go ahead and take notes when nobody else do. 
I'm going to go ahead and say I want it as bad as I say I want it when nobody else say it. And I'm not going to just say it, but I'm going to take some step into it and allow and allow my 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 pain to push me towards greatness and not just be motivated and have this motivation floating around, but the implementation. Because you know what? I know where I'm at right now. I knew where I once was, but I know where I'm looking to go as well because I have the support. I have the, 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 the guidance. All right. Your decisions is determined by your future. So if you make mistakes, it's all a part of the journey. Because when you fall, right? Andrew may be there to, 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 to help you up. If you fall, your parents may be there to help you up. If you fall, your friend may be there to help you up. You fall again. Guess who got to help who up? You. You got to help you up. Because this life is, is, is changing. And technology is, is, is controlling the world in a good way. But what I want us to do is look at the positive. All right? So I know some things that may look, and you may not understand what's going on, but remember, you can't control that. But what you can do is control what's inside of you and control the mind. All right? So um, I want to pick one person. All right? You, how you doing? Good. You doing good? I'm doing good. That's good. How are you? Hmm? How old are you? I'm 31. You're 31. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. You a student or? No, no? I'm a counselor. Counselor. Okay. Yeah. From this presentation, what was the takeaway from you so far? For, for me, I mean, I can start to really relate as I'm getting older that when I look back on things that I've done, decisions that I've made, things that I didn't think were important back then, when you start to reflect on it, it is. And it's nice to hear that other people have that same experience as they get older. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, Senator. Awesome. Awesome. So you see, by opening up, right, and I want to talk about stepping out of our comfort zone because the managers helped me with that. You see uh, when she say the decisions we don't think about when we're young. So you see how the, the environment that you're usually used to, you decided to get out that environment because not just the staff, but you say, you know what? You want to participate, right? You wanted to participate, so you stepped out the comfort zone that you was always used to. Stepping out your comfort zone will help you tap you into your throne and allow you to become the very best you, all right? Now, I'm not saying this stuff will be overnight. It will not be overnight, but it's all up to you. You know, like, like I say, I get passionate about this information because it has ch have changed me, but it didn't kick in right then and there. It took some time. Trust me, I, I, I was in the mirror practicing certain exercises that mentors was teaching me, and I'm like, it's not working right now, Mr. Buck, what's going on? He was like, continue to be consistent. And then I, I went here and I say, hey man, you know, this is not happening. But remember, it would never happen to you, but it's happening for you. It's happening for you to allow you to see what's really in front of you. All you have a bright future. Andrew spoke, and I know I speak, you know, very highly, you know, Andrew is a very good man, said each of you have a very bright future, a very bright future. You have something in store that you may not know exactly what it is, but as long as you continue to stay educated, as long as you continue to stay coachable, Stay with the camp, right? A friend that may not be here, I want you to take the time out to share this information with them, all right? Share the information with them. Share your biggest takeaway that you may have from this, even if it's something small. Because like I say, I know it's Friday, but don't let that particular day dictate of where you're trying to go. Because me, I would rather learn and study while others are sleeping. I would rather learn and study while others are sleeping. You want to know how many hours I drove to get here? What do you say? Texas, right? When you're so much dedicated into the work that you're into, and not just the work, but the people, you show a level of service that 